Good morning, good afternoon, everybody, wherever you are. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to present my work, which is entitled Supporting the uh, Supporting Design Decision Making Through uh, Using Parasim Framework, which is done by me, Zuhar Nassar, Nicola Swaib, and uh, Sabih Farhan. Uh, I'll give you a quick outline about my presentation today, which I cover. So I cover six aspects, the introduction and overview of my uh, presentation today, then computational modeling for building performance. After that, gonna be parametric design and digital simulation. After these three, I will present my experimental work, starting with the research methodology and implementation, uh, before finishing the result and discussion, and then finally, I will conclude my presentation today. So let's start with the introduction. So uh, what's the aim of this research and what's the scope? So this research aims to offer a new modeling approach to support, to enhance the designer interaction with the models, which can establish a continuity between different design stages and development cycles also support the design decision making during the early design and conceptual design stages mainly also creating more a more visible and traceable continuity between the thinking design thinking assumption and design decision taking all over the design process uh, for this research we uh, the building energy performance is chosen as the main context so to develop a set of criteria for interactive uh, iterative, sorry, development, testing, evaluating, and validation of the prototype model or models. This research tried to examine the impact of using proposed uh, parametric modeling process in supporting the energy performance uh, during the early design stage. Uh, uh, as we uh, know, and many researchers say that the design process during the early design stage are affected by the inputs that are used in different stages as the design progresses. Also, the interaction between the mental and the computational or digital model or even physical models. The process of translating, linking, and maintaining this information into a computational or the computational model at the right stage in the design process. In another word, so uh, the design process are affected by the information data, by the certainty and the ambiguity, and uh, how correct and accurate these data. Then when we try to create our mental model, it's the design process are affected by understanding, how we understand this information. Even though if we have a certain information, clear and correct, accurate information, we still have problem of understanding and, uh, and the interpretation of this uh, information and uh, how we, uh, how uh, the previous skills are knowledge uh, uh, to use this uh, kind of information. So we still have problem even though uh, we have a right information. Later on, when we transfer this mental model to create and generate a computational or a physical model, we still have problem of digital tools, of using these tools, even though we have, we understand the right information correctly and we interpret it, uh, them very well, we still have proper about how to translate these uh, information into a digital models. And this lack because of the uh, uh, few feedback received during this uh, uh, process. And this uh, creates a problem with the internal thinking. So this research aims to increase the, the expand the internal thinking and the digital media during this uh, the design process mainly the early design stage and to create more continuity via create more link and more quick and accurate feedback during this design stage so turning to the second part of my presentation which is the computational modeling for building performance uh, the cause many researchers say that the cause for energy performance uh, problems and uh, deficiencies is because the disc, uh, discord and lack of rapid and accurate feedback received uh, in, uh, during the conceptual or early design stage and using different and, and inadequate uh, modeling tools and techniques during this stage. 
Also, the models and tools do not, don't communicate to each other and uh, disturb uh, the thinking process. So many researchers say that the uh, design decisions that are made during the, uh, the conceptual and early design stage have a great impact on building energy performance and, any, and many other uh, performance for the buildings. So basically, as Bazinyak said, that putting the building on the right orientation, accurate orientation, without uh, with no need for extra cost, can reduce the energy performance, uh, can reduce the energy consumption by 30 to 40 percent with no extra cost. And he also said that the analysis process is something that comes after uh, very late at a, a very late uh, stage when we already did many design decision or uh, already made earlier and the uh, the possibilities and uh, uh, ability to amend the and modify the energy model is quite difficult and complicated and all only can be done uh, for a few uh, things so nowadays we have uh, the parametric design and digital simulation. Many, uh, uh, many of you may, uh, of course, aware that parametric modeling and parametric design helps the architects and uh, designers to study various design alternatives, basically uh, for aesthetic aspects or for cost and many other aspects. However, few of them uh, focus on the building energy performance and how to integrate these design tools, these design technologies, with the performance, uh, with the building energy performance. And even though we have nowadays very uh, sophisticated tools, very uh, developed tools, parametric tools, still many designers prefer to do the energy analysis at later design stage, as we can see here in this uh, example. However, with the existing, for, with uh, the new parametric models uh, and uh, during the last few years, uh, many architects and designers start to use uh, these very uh, handy tools like Ladybug and uh, Honeybees, which is supporting the, the parametric uh, design, basically Grasshopper and Rhino. And uh, they try to use it for uh, support the design decision making, which is related to the building energy performance. And uh, the designers start to use the optimization tools within the parametric uh, design tools to support their design decision making basically for the building energy performance and many other performance for the buildings. So this, is, this part is uh, giving a quick overview about uh, the, what is going on in, in, in this field. Uh, now turning to my work and uh, uh, the research methodology and implementation. And we decided to do experimental work to test how uh, important and how these uh, uh, tools can uh, assist and aid the architects to support their design decision making during the early design stage. So the experimental work aims to uh, explore the series of new energy simulation modeling techniques based on parametric design, which we define as parasim modeling technique or parasim approach, and generate an energy model whereby all inputs, information, and data history uh, can be tracked and traceable and compared together with the assumption in each uh, respective stage or stages. So parasim, it comes from parametric and simulation. This uh, terminology coined by the, uh, the researcher and it's half from parametric and half the other half from simulation. So what is Parasim. Parasim is an uh, interactive approach for architectural design, uh, aims to uh, enhance the parametric design and building simulation in one uh, uh, stage, uh, and also short, uh, shorten the feedback loop, support the building energy performance and many other performance, not only building energy performance. For this research, we, we focus on building energy performance, but we can apply many other performance and basically for uh, the conceptual and early design stage. Also, it aims to unite the parametric design thinking with the building energy simulation in one single early stage. That's all to generate, simulate, evaluate, and update 
as many as possible design alternatives to support the design decision making during the early design stage. So what's the parasim? Uh, in this next diagram, I'm gonna explain to you uh, how parasim works with the, with the current process. The parasim doesn't aim to uh, uh, change the, the, the whole process, try to enhance the actual process. As we are aware that during the early design stage, the main two actors, the main active actors are the client and the architect or the architects. So when the project start by the, by the clients, he provides or she provides the, the architects with the uh, requirements, with their requirements, let's say, and the architects try to prepare the design brief. Normally the design brief can be categorized or there are two kinds of information included in this design brief. Uh, I said I uh, put them in two cut, uh, categories, computerizable or measurable aspects such as the building cost or the, the building performance and non-computerizable aspects such as the building, uh, uh, the, the design aesthetics and the design culture and the context culture. Then the architects try to apply this design brief to generate one proposal or uh, proposals and then try this is the main point that we, we try to do with the parasim we may try to make the analysis and evaluation process done by the architects during the early design stage as a one single assessment process then afterward the, des the designers or the architects test uh, and check this uh, uh, proposal to see if it if it meets or uh, they meet the, the brief uh, computerizable requirements or the client requirements, mainly the measurable. They update it to see if they can achieve this desirable uh, requirements. If not, they should go back and check either by change the overall design or check maybe we have problem with understanding or the, the inputs or we need to update these inputs. Later on, if we find that these inputs, these computerizable requirements uh, have been made, have been met, uh, the architects try to present the proposal or proposals to the uh, client, where the client tried to check to see if the design meets the rest uh, requirements. And if it meets these requirements, the architects start working on design, continue with the design. If not, we go back to check the non-computerizable -computer information to make sure that we understand them or we have the accurate and sufficient information. Then present the final design proposal where the project should be ended. We have another uh, process, additional process, which sometimes done by third party. As a designer, when we reach this point, we always go to the third party to test for bigger project to test and check if we have problem uh, or to, uh, to evaluate our design, basically the performance, the energy performance. So we don't say that we, uh, re we uh, delete this process, uh, but we try to, uh, to make this process uh, uh, less uh, with less effort so we already done many design decision as early as possible by the architects themselves so when we reach this this point we are uh, let's say have let's say certainty about the decision the decision that we made and reduce the effort for the third party to analyze and evaluate our uh, design so uh, as I told you that the design brief can be categorized in two aspects uh, measurable and non-measurable aspects. So basically, Parasim tries to cover the measurable aspects. However, when we reduce the effort that is needed for, for needed for the uh, for the measurable or computerizable aspects, the Parasim effect uh, extended to cover the other aspect because we we have now time and more. We can uh, dedicate more effort for the non-measurable aspects. So for this reason, we did a, an experimental work for, uh, within three steps. So the first one uh, we did 
uh, we did a workshop, first parasim workshop. We have one group of volunteers participated in this uh, workshop, acted as a control and experimental groups. Then we have another group of uh, designers where we have two groups in the second workshop, controlled and experimental, uh, each one acted as a controlled and experimental group. These both workshops uh, represent the quantitative data where participants, where we have volunteers around 170 participants participate in this uh, uh, work, in these workshops, both workshops. Then uh, the, the participant has been asked to do some design tasks using traditional digital approach and then using the Parasim approach and to test their performance for both uh, approaches. Later on, after that, we decided to have qualitative data. This uh, today uh, talk and the research is only cover the, the uh, quantitative data. However, we go for interview with experts from academia and practice. Uh, now, turning to the uh, result and discussion for the first group, the the student, uh, the sorry, the participants uh, were asked to evaluate. Uh, uh, were asked to, to do 10, uh, ten uh, design tasks where they asked again to evaluate the feedback received and uh, their performance using traditional digital approach and parasim approach. As we can see here, uh, the very good rating, good and very good rating for parasim is three times uh, compared to traditional digital approach. The most important figure is that not finished tasks where the the participant couldn't finish, third of them couldn't finish the task using traditional approach, while only 3% uh, couldn't finish this uh, task using Parasim. Another good figure is that the production of uh, the participants in Parasim is three times compared to a traditional approach. Then we did another experimental work where we have two groups uh, of uh, participants, control and experimental group, and they, uh, they've been asked to select correct answers from multi-choices questions and to check if they find the correct answers. And again, Parasim represent very high percentage, around 90% uh, correct answers uh, compared to traditional digital approach. So in conclusion, the last thing that I want to show you is the conclusion. Uh, this research studied the impact of using the parasim modeling techniques in supporting the energy modeling process. Uh, the desired outcome from this study is to offer a new modeling approach to support the design decision related to the energy aspects and to support the continuity of the design thinking during the different design stages. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and I'm happy to hear your question. Thanks a lot.